Hi, Bill here. I just decided to uh, go for a little stroll outside today. It's uh, pretty nice out for the middle of February in Pennsylvania. As you can see, the snow is gone. Um, it's in the low 60s today. We had some weird front go through during the night and the wind howled and it's still pretty breezy, but I think I've been in the low 60s, so I thought I would just go for my first walk of the, of the year here around the property, just kind of sneaking around. Went down the hill from the house about, I think it's about 300 yards or so. And there's a little pond in the woods down here. Um, and there was some koi in there. I don't know if I can see them. They're kind of like Japanese carp. They're kind of like big goldfish. Um, this probably just melted within the last couple days. And uh, another... I won't walk down there right now, but another uh, maybe 100, 150 yards down in the woods there is our water supply. There's a big artesian well down there. So as you can see, there's a little bit of green grass on the ground here. Like we've had a couple of warm spells and back and forth between warm and snow. So I thought I would just take a quick stroll here. Hi, Bill here again. I'm just taking a quick stroll through the property here again just kind of very leisurely stroll but as you can see I'm a little bit out of breath because I've not done much for a couple of weeks or so so I'm down below our fields that you've probably seen in my videos before and there's um, the two houses that are down the hill from us that you can't really see from where I live maybe just barely because the leaves are down but normally you wouldn't be able to see them, so I thought I would just give a little bit of a, you know, more of a tour of the place here for you. And uh, the guy that used to live here made all kinds of trails through here, unless they did it when they logged it out at one time, I don't know, but um, there's all kinds of trails through here. and. I'm seeing the deer are using this trail and uh, tracks and uh, spore. Uh, one thing we do here in Pennsylvania a lot of the time is uh, after winter we go out looking for sheds which is when the deer drop their antlers in the winter which is right about now middle, middle of February we go around just looking to see if we can find shed antlers to see you know what big bucks are still hanging around and, and I know at night they try to kind of hang out around you know the edges of fields and like this and maybe even lay down and you know feed and spend a little more time and hopefully that's where they drop their antlers and you can find them so you've seen this view from the other direction before so you know, that's, that's the field below the houses, and that's, it's hard for me to see here with this contrast, but my landlord's house and uh, my house up the top of the hill there. And uh, so yeah, I just thought I would show that to you. Yeah, you know, like I said, uh, the deer spend a lot of time around along the edge of these fields, and I'll see if I can show you this. I don't know if the, Phone's picking that up. Yeah, it looks like it is. So this is where a buck rubbed its antlers back in the fall, fairly recently. Still kind of fresh on there, kind of white on there. So um, there's another one there. There's another one there. So yeah, they're spending some time around here, and then kind of show you. Um, so there's the house. And uh, I got a stump right here that I usually have a uh, salt block on for the deer to lick on, get some minerals, and uh, taking a picture of myself. <laughs> so I got this uh, this stump here, little uh, piece of salt still left on there, and then I got this game camera right here that uh, takes pictures of the deer and uh, you know so I can 
see them from my, uh, it's hard for me to see through these dark glasses what I'm pointing this at um, when they change out here. So, you know, I'm sitting out there at my window and I can see the deer down here and uh, pretty soon I'll start putting some corn out for them to eat. You're not really supposed to do that in the dead of winter. Something about messes up their guts, um, unless they're used to it. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I would show that to you. Maybe I'll even uh, stick on a couple of the pictures that I've taken on that camera for you. So, that's about it for my little walk. I'm getting tired already because I haven't done much lately, but hopefully uh, the wind's not blowing too hard here on this. Uh, so yeah, I just thought I would show you that view of the property. There's a view of the little field here in front of the houses and there's this little uh, grove of, grove of uh, spruce and cedars, I think, that the previous landlord planted here because there's an electrical box and some utility stuff there. And I guess that was to block the view. And I don't know if this phone can pick it up or not. There's a, there's a trail coming out of those, coming right up to my bird feeder. And uh, so hard for me to see through this. Um, which is kind of leaning over a little bit. Uh, I think uh, I got either a raccoon or a possum coming up here. And of course, if it was a raccoon, he probably would have ripped that suet holder down. But uh, so you know, it might be a possum coming out of hibernation already. And as you can see, that's the landlord's house. And then that's where I sit. Uh, the window on the right is where I sit at my breakfast bar on the computer, doing my schoolwork and hanging out watching the critters and talking to you all on the webcam so that's it for now yeah so i thought i would uh take you all on that little trip around the property and uh, as you can see i'm still probably a little red and sweating from that little walk didn't go very far um you know i was only gone for maybe not even half an hour just kind of leisurely strolling around the you know, the lower part of the property there, and, and uh, yeah, I, I had the uh, down shirt on, but that was unnecessary, <laughs> so I'm sweaty, uh, you know, because it's still in the low 60s here, but tomorrow night it's supposed to be snowing and going down to 17, so this has been just one of those wacky winters where, where there's a roller coaster, which doesn't help, so yeah, I, after my normal, uh, you know, Lime morning, I call it. I don't know what else to call it. My normal crappy lime morning. I, uh, you know, I've been resting and just, uh, you know, chilling out here today and decided I got to take advantage of this first day that it's this warm out and at least go for a little stroll. And uh, don't worry, I sprayed down uh, with permethrin. Uh, my boots and my legs at least because, you know, I wasn't going in any deep weeds because there aren't any high weeds right now uh, since the snow knocked them all down but uh, you know and I always come home and take the clothes off and leave the boots in the garage and throw the pants I had on down the garage steps and uh, you know check you know, for ticks and all that so uh, you know I'm usually pretty thorough about that usually every time I even just walk out to put bird feed out in the bird feed you know bird feeder you saw there it's only uh, what 10 feet from the driveway <laughs> I'll even you know check myself after do that doing that so uh, so yeah I thought I would give you that you know quick little partial tour of the uh, property maybe one of these other days that it's nice out again I'll I'll go you know a little bit further around the other side and show you um, what they're doing over there the adjoining property they're logging out and making a mess. Uh, I'll show you that someday and maybe take you on more of an extended tour of the place. And it's not mine, not my property, but you know, I just rent this place, but uh, I like being up here in the woods. So, uh, and I thought I would mention one more thing while I'm giving you this update. I did some uh, parasite videos a while back and uh, you know, so from here on out, it's going to be TMI with Bill. So if you don't want TMI, 
don't want to hear about worms, you might want to shut this off. Um, you know, I did that, what was that, back in uh, November, I think, maybe this early December, can't remember, uh, when I did that parasite protocol and, and saw lots. And, uh, you know, I think I might have done an update saying for a while there I saw, you know, a little bit of parasites uh, here and there. And then pretty much nothing for a while, maybe an occasional, you know, little one, you know, and I'm not constantly, you know, digging around. <laughs> Again, this is TMI, you know, digging through the toilet to see what's there. Um, but I'll usually, you know, just kind of take a quick glance just to see if anything's, you know, coming out. Again, TMI. Uh, this morning, I, uh, same thing, I did my usual quick glance just to see if I saw anything, and I did, and uh, this was, um, you know, one of those uh, worms like before, and I don't know if I ever saw one this large before, so I had to, uh, you know, dig it out, and I'll uh, put a picture of that here. This thing was um, about a foot long, so, you know, again, as we said before, we all have them, you know, if you have a pulse, you have parasites. And uh, especially us uh, Lyme's and people with chronic, uh, you know, illnesses and infections that are, you know, compromising our systems. I think we're more susceptible to, uh, you know, to parasites taking over, you know, which is, doesn't help matters. It doesn't do us any good because they're, uh, you know, gobbling up our nutrients and, you know, and, and stressing our systems and, and uh, you know, all that kind of stuff to weaken us and cause brain fog and, you know, lower our immune system and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, that's why, you know, we need to be concerned about it, you know, and thinking about it. So, so I thought, you know, I would just uh, include that here on this uh, kind of daily update. Not, not a, I don't do a daily update. I, you know, I just uh, do it when, you know, that's something to talk about and my brain's working good enough to, uh, to talk to you. So, Again, you know, t if you don't want to see a picture of a worm, turn it off now because I'm going to put it right here at the end. And I will talk to you all soon.